Welcome back. We are now at the website if t or if this then that. You can access that website by going to ifttt.com. If you go to the site and after the backslash you write Evernote, you'll notice that if t has an Evernote page where they talk about some of the connections that are available. So if you don't have an account with IFTTT, you are going to want to sign up for one now. Now you can choose to sign up with Google, Facebook, or sign up or sign in. And if you have a Gmail account, your sign up will be instant and you will already be given access to IFTTT. Now the first thing we're going to do is we're going to connect our account. And in order to do that, we are going to need to give IFT permission to access our Evernote account. So we're going to do that by putting our Evernote account email address in this dialog box. We're then going to need to write in our Evernote password. Now, if you have sensitive information, you are going to want to read your third party applications permission just so that you'll understand what you'll be doing with IFTI. You want to determine how long you're going to give IFTI access to your account. And once you've done that, you are then going to click Authorize. Now, once you do that, you'll then want to come back to the main screen in IFTI. And you'll want to know which services actually integrate with Evernote. And so what you'll want to do is you'll want to write Evernote into the search grid. And then you'll notice the applets that will come up at the bottom telling you which recipes are going to be available to connect two services together where one of them is going to be Evernote. For example, you can sync starred emails in Gmail to Evernote. So that all you'll have to do is to go in, click star, and then that email will then show up inside of Evernote. You can actually create connections between Google Calendar and Evernote. And you'll see a number of integrations that you'll want to be able to use. Now, if you want to speed up the search process, then all you'll need to do is to then write in the other application. And you'll be able to find those applications that are connected to Evernote and the service that you're looking for. Okay, so with that, thanks, and I will see you in another video. Hello and welcome. Now in this video, we're going to talk about the overall direction of the course. Now Evernote is a well-known and used application for note-taking and organizing the information we come in contact with every day. It is adaptable to the way that we choose to organize the voluminous amount of information that we use. It provides us a searchable database for our information. While the course will reintroduce some of those technical features, its focus is on tracking your activity on different popular sites, applications, and web apps, and then using the power of Evernote's adaptable and searchable system for archiving this information. Therefore, some of the time will be attended to doing the basics of documenting the process, but most of the time will be spent on automation. Now, the focus of the course is to help you to use Evernote to work smarter. And that means that we'll feature website applications such as Google Drive, Zapier, and IFT, or If This Then That. Then you'll be shown the practical setup of each of these applications and how they interact with Evernote. You'll then see how you can adapt, choose, and set up your own individual system for automating and archiving your information. So with that, thanks, and I will see you in another video. Welcome back. Now in this video, we want to discuss task integration. Evernote as it stands is not created for us to manage tasks in this platform. However, there are some direct integrations that you can actually use in order to integrate tasks and Evernote. In order to do that, you are actually going to click the search bar and then we're going to click task. Now there are five associated apps with productivity and tasks. There's Ifty, which we have seen before, Zapier, and a few others. So one of the ways that we can actually use Evernote and some kind of task manager is to tie them together through an application like Ifty or one like Zapier. In fact, Zapier 
ties to the popular task manager called Wonderlist. And in fact, Wonderlist and Evernote have at least eight different integrations that you can actually use in order to integrate tasks and your use of Evernote. So for example, in going into Zapier, you'll find that the connection point is that you can create a note in Evernote and then have Zapier work inside of Wonderlist to automatically create a task. And of course, all you'll need is your Evernote account and your Wonderlist account. You would then click what's called creating a zap. So the triggering action is that when a new note is created in a specific notebook. So we'll now need to collect an Evernote account. We'll allow Zapier to connect with our Evernote. We'll then put in our password. We'll give Zapier permission to work with Evernote. So now our Evernote account is connected. We're going to click Save and Continue. And then what we're going to do is we're going to select some advanced options. And then we're going to make sure that we use a specific notebook. So in this particular case, we're going to use the email content and copy notebook. What we're going to do now is we're going to click continue. So to test our trigger, we want to have at least one note recently created. We're going to click fetch and continue. And Evernote says that our test has been successful. So now we will then click continue. What we will do now is we will create a task inside of Wonderlist. We need to connect a Wonderlist account. We're now going to sign in. And we should test our Wonderlist account. When we are successful, we can click Save and Continue. And then we will write in a title. And we'll then click Continue. What we will do now is we will send a test to Wonderlist. And our task has just been sent to Wonderlist. So now what we can do is we can check Wonderlist to make sure that our task is now there. And if we look, our task has been added from Zapier into Wonderlist to help us to manage our tasks. Okay, so with that, thanks, and I will see you in another video.